blood leaves the brain, muscle, liver, skin, etc. This is deoxygenated blood. The body has removed the oxygen and the nutrients which it wanted from this blood and it sends this blood back to the heart. This blood travels through veins uh, and because it lacks oxygen it's a bit more bluish than the oxygenated blood which we'll discuss later, later so it's depicted in blue here. This deoxygenated blood will enter into the right atrium of the heart. The right atrium transports blood to the right ventricle and the right ventricle sends it from the heart. This blood then travels to the lungs where gas exchange can add oxygen. As we see this again, note that the right atrium receives all the blood coming from the tissues of the body. It is a thin walled chamber because it only sends blood to the right ventricle which is beneath it. When the right ventricle contracts, it does send blood away from the heart, but not back towards the brain, skin, muscle, etc. This blood is deoxygenated. The tissues do not want it until it obtains an oxygen supply. So this blood is sent to only one place when it leaves the right ventricle, to the lungs. And in the lungs, then, uh, there is gas exchange as oxygen from our inhaled air enters uh, the blood, turning this deoxygenated blood to oxygenated. Once the blood in the lungs has become oxygenated, it then travels back through pulmonary veins into the left atrium of the heart. Just as the right atrium is receiving deoxygenated blood, the left atrium is receiving oxygenated blood. The left atrium sends this oxygenated blood to the left ventricle, and the left ventricle, as it contracts, will then squeeze this blood through the aorta, where it will go to the tissues of the body the brain, the muscle, the skin, the liver, etc. Note that the two halves of the heart are acting in unison. The atria contract together and the ventricles contract together. In summary then, this is how blood flows through the heart. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the veins entering in through the superior and inferior vena cava, two big veins that enter the heart. The right atrium sends blood to the right ventricle the right ventricle then squeezes this deoxygenated blood and it passes through the pulmonary trunk to go to the lungs where this blood can obtain an oxygen supply. Once this has occurred, the blood returns to the heart through pulmonary veins, enters the left atrium, then passes into the left ventricle, and the left ventricle will then contract and send blood through the t to the tissues of the body through the aorta.